Hey Chelsea, don't have a cow, or maybe do have a cow this morning, or one or two or three. We're getting ready for a big event that's taking place at the Effingham County Fairgrounds. Greg Woody with Woody's Mini Cow joining us, and yeah, the, we're talking cows, just smaller just in size. Just smaller cows. You know, these are for the person who wants to have a cow in the backyard for their own production or for their own whatever they want to have it for. Uh, unique girls, that girl he's got on the camera there now is, is, is full grown, uh, and uh, very unique characteristics they are. Uh, we're having the Mid-America Mini Cow Show and Sale event this weekend at the Effingham County Fairgrounds in Aldemont. And we've got several of them for people to you can watch online or you can come on out and visit with us and take some home with you if you wish. Mini cows are nothing new, but they have just blown up. What do you, what, what do you think has caused the a popularity? Lot, a, a lot of people have decided, and some people get offended with this comment, but a lot of people have decided that they can handle these kind of smaller animals and they can process it themselves instead of taking it to the processor. Gotcha. Then you've got the homesteaders that want them because they don't produce as much milk because they want to produce their own milk and have them for their own purpose that way. And um, then you got the therapy. The people then you got the therapy animal aspect. I mean, as we already seen with some of your other people work, work here, you know, Margie and all them. I think they've come out here for therapy today. I didn't realize that working at Fox 2 might be so stressful, but they sure come out here and enjoyed the therapy time this morning and had fun with some of the little cows out here. Let's talk about some of the breeds. First of all, okay. this little, little one here, tell me about this one. She's that three is a, weeks old. That is a Zebu. She's three weeks old. We call her Precious. As you can see, she's a unique Precious. little girl that she is. She will not be over 32 inches tall when she's full grown, folks. Now think about that, 32 inches tall. She will always be a small little girl. Wow. And wow. They, they come in several color phases. The Zebus come in black, grays, reds, and all kinds of combinations thereof. Now this is the most popular right that now. That right now is the popular. That's a high park. Uh, they got designer dogs. We have designer cows. She's yeah. actually a park and a Highland Cross. And as I said earlier too, the, a lot of women buy those because they think they can do funny things with the hairdo and and, they you, can. and doctor them up and you know put hair bows in them and all kinds of things like that. But as you can see, they, you know they they're just pretty relaxed and. Uh, pretty mellow and I enjoy being with people and working around. And that's the, the temperament's part of the attraction, right? People just temperament feel is calm The and... temperament is most of the attraction. That's exactly right. I mean, you know, as I tell people, I can sell a good one that's tame every day and those wild ones, sometimes you can't give them away most days and, <laughs> right. you know, but uh, it's just that, you know, it's attitude and I've been at this for 30 years with the mini cows and I've learned that g g genetics, genetics, genetics. There are some lines that are crazy and will always be crazy and so you just let somebody else have those for breeding stock and <laughs> I keep the good tame ones and the quiet ones to work with and like attention and like to be around people. You expect this to be a pretty big event? This will be a large event. We're going to, as I say, I I think this, well I know for a fact, this is the largest mini cow sale in the United States of its type. Wow. And uh, you know, there will be a few larger cows there that are foundation production cows because I'm, I'm cutting my herd down. Yeah. Uh, we also do wildlife shows, as you know, and we're going back on the road this year to do some of that. So we got to cut our numbers down a little bit at the house, but uh, it'll be a unique opportunity for people to have a few to keep for themselves. And I've had commercial cattle people buying 10, 12 of these here lately just because they thought it was neat and wanted some to look at in the backyard. Yeah, you mentioned as pets, a lot of people uh, interested in just as having one in the backyard and, and lifespan. It's actually longer than a, than a normal sized cow. Uh, the zebus, especially, are usually later maturing. A lot yeah. of those will never have their first calf till they're four years old. But I've wow. got a cow at home that's getting ready to calve at 22. And wow. commercial beef cattle industry, usually they figure at 10 and they're gone. Right. You know, and as I say, she's getting ready to calve at 22. Wow. Look at that. There you go. Mini cows. It is the Mid America Mini Cow event that is taking place at the Effingham County Fairgrounds in Altamont. Uh, going to be a great time for folks to come out and see all these mini cows up close and personal. Come out and see them and learn about them. You know, if you see anybody running around there, we'll be wearing our hats, Woody's mini cow, and our shirts. And if you have any questions, you know, we'll figure out an answer by somebody that knows what they're talking about. We'll get it done. That's precious right there, and you can see why. <laughs> Mid America mini cow event. Again, that's this Saturday and Sunday at the Effingham County Fairgrounds. Have a cow or two or three or ten. Or small ones anyway. Hey, small ones. <laughs> hey, keep it right here. We got more Studio STL coming your way. Stay with us.